BP and lawyers for thousands of people affected by the 2010 Gulf oil spill have presented a federal judge rather with a settlement. The $7.8 billion proposal could end up being higher, but will only cover claims of private losses. A U.S. district judge is expected to hold a fairness hearing before deciding whether to give a final approval. Well, a new technology might have made a big difference in cleaning up after the BP disaster. It's a sponge that absorbs oil but doesn't absorb water. Ned Hibbard is here to show us how it could help. Ned. It's in two days, guys. It will be two years since that explosion on the deep water horizon began pumping crude into the Gulf. Hundreds of millions of gallons. Oil was everywhere it shouldn't be, and the cleanup was a nightmare. It was then. Rice graduate student Daniel Hashem realized Carbon down to sponge he might have already created the perfect material for soaking up oil out of the salt water. Once the hospital happened, I started to take this material more seriously for this application. The material this is a um, low density carbon nanotube sponge material uses building blocks that won Rice researchers the Nobel Prize in chemistry 15 years ago. Big recognition for a tiny substance. This could be billions to trillions of nanotubes, a lot. Yes, very small scale materials. Hashem's contribution a touch of boron, creating a nano sponge with the perfect properties for the job. It won't absorb water, it just rolls off, really. And just try to submerge it. You can't. This is uh, used engine oil I got from the local gas station. But oil, it'll soak that up readily. Most of this material's volume is air, 99% air. So uh, that's actually desirable for absorption capabilities. Meaning the nano sponge can hold 100 times its own weight in oil, absorbed right out of the water. Removal is as easy as waving a magnet. It e easily moves with magnetic force. And controlling its whereabouts and being able to salvage them, that's what gives us functionality and purpose and value. The oil can then be squeezed out of the nano sponge or... It helps to see how much oil it really does absorb. Burned for its energy while it's still in the sponge. We're able to salvage energy that was once lost and recover that energy for later use. Either way, says Hashem, the nano sponge can be reused hundreds, even thousands of times. It's promising not just for large scale gushers, but also for small spills, like this morning's 18 wheeler accident on the Southwest Freeway, which dribbled 120 gallons of diesel down the ramp and along the feeder. If this little sponge lives up to those big expectations, that would make Daniel Hashem a very satisfied scientist. I always wanted to use my science to contribute to the world. But it was your contribution that actually made it possible. You see, Hashem's research is paid for by the National Science Foundation, which is funded by your tax dollars.